Hey y'all, so today I'm going to show you how I make my version of Pad Thai. It's probably not traditional, but it's really good and I made it up on my own. So I had a lot of people say that they would like to know how I do it when I posted it on Instagram. So here we are, quarantine series part two, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and go over the ingredients and what you're gonna need. There's garlic, green bell pepper, green onion, a pound of peeled and deveined shrimp, some Asian noodles. All I could find was Chinese lo mein noodles, so it's good enough for me. Um, eggs, toasted sesame seeds, sriracha, hoisin sauce, soy sauce. And then this you can find in the frozen section at the grocery store. And it's just an Asian medley, so it has like all the good vegetables in it. That saves time. Um, pepper, salt, and olive oil. So now let's go ahead and get started. So I have an extra bowl. We're going to add the vegetables in there. This makes enough for two people. And I'm going to cut my bell pepper. And I just like take the inside out and disregard. <laughs> and I'm going to cut this, you know, very precisely like a professional chef. There actually is a trick to turning your bell pepper like this and it cuts much easier. I actually just made this up, this recipe up not too long ago. And it's really good. You can ask my cameraman. It's freaking amazing. I like these actually in like uh, chopped. Oh, and it, please ignore my quarantine nails. Okay, we're saving lives <laughs> by not going to the nail salon. <laughs> Today we were in the grocery store and Sid said, nice thumb. And I was like, how rude. <laughs> Terrible. Okay, so put the bell pepper in. I add the bell pepper and the green onion because, you know, why not? And I use, hmm, I don't know if you can see, I cut that much off and then I use all the rest. So green onion. Like I said, I don't think, I don't know if this is traditional. I don't, I don't think you make pad thai with Chinese noodles, but when that's all you can find at the grocery store, that's how we're going to do it. Oops. Okay. I'm going to put half of these in and save the other half for later. Okay. Now that I have the vegetables prepped and ready, we're going to go ahead and do the shrimp. I just do a little bit of olive oil. Some kosher salt. Pretty good amount and some freshly cracked black pepper. And that's it for the shrimp. We're gonna toss it together. And then we're gonna get our wok ready to walk and roll. <laughs> and I also have water that's already um, coming to a boil so we can do our noodles. Okay, so in my wok, I have some peanut oil and we're gonna test and see if it's hot. It's on high heat. Okay, yep, hot enough. It needs to sizzle when you put it in there. So I'm gonna do not all of the shrimp at once, but just enough where they can cook without touching. So it'll probably take two batches. And we're not gonna cook them all the way just until they're like pinkish and a little bit of color on the outside. But I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. When it's done. In the meantime, I'm gonna take a sip of my so-called water. And you can hear the lovely sizzle. Okay, so once we flip them over, this is what you're looking for. It has some brown around the edges for the good flavors and a little bit of color. So these have been cooking on the other side. Yep, they're ready. We're gonna take these out, do the second batch, and then I'll show you what the next step is. Time to do the vegetables, but I wanna show you guys over here is the noodles. I boiled them for two minutes less than what the package said, and then I put them in ice water so they quit cooking. And now we're going to go ahead and do the vegetables. So, really hot wok and peanut oil. 
and we're gonna do a little bit of pepper. And a little bit of soy sauce, just a little bit. I love the baby corn. Once this cooks down a little bit, we're gonna add in the garlic, but garlic will burn, so I didn't wanna put it in now. Make sure your wok is on high. You could do this in a regular pan, but I'm fancy, and I asked for a wok for Christmas, so I'm putting it to good use. Okay. We're gonna let this sit there, and then I'll add in the garlic. Oh, it smells so good already. <laughs> wow. The vegetables have cooked down. We're gonna add in the garlic. On the side, I kind of scooted everything over so the garlic can, you know, get a little of the sauce. Don't want raw garlic, but you don't want burnt garlic. That is a very happy medium. As soon as it gets fragrant, you can smell it. Toss it in. Ooh, it smells so good. All right, so the vegetables are gonna go on the same plate with the shrimp right now. I like to do this in layers, but they can be piled on top because they're gonna go in at the same time. And we're about to do the egg, which I like to keep separate from everything because I made it one time and I did the egg in with the everything else and the egg turned like brown with all the sauces and you couldn't tell. So it looks prettier to wait and do it separate. Don't overcook your vegetables where the color is like really dull. You want it to still be pretty vibrant. So a little bit more oil, let the oil get hot. Has to be really hot, that's the trick. We have three eggs here. I'm gonna grab a fork, mix it up. I don't season it until I get it in the wok. And I'm actually gonna have my cameraman hand me my toasted sesame seeds behind him. Mix it up really well, pour it in. Okay, so pepper, salt, a little bit of toasted sesame. Oops, don't want to do it like that. That would be a lot of toasted sesame. And you want to kind of pull your walk back. It's going to kind of be like an omelet until we cut it up. And that's what you want. According to Food Network. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, that, that is a good looking egg if I ever saw one. Now, the egg I'm going to set separately than the shrimp and the vegetables for the purpose of what I said earlier, not wanting them to get brown. I'm gonna grab a small plate. Egg does not cook long. And put it in a little, or I should say a small bowl. And put it in the bowl. Now that we have all of our components ready, we're going to start the actual combination part. I strained the noodles. One side. Remember, we didn't cook the vegetables and the shrimp all the way, or the noodles. Now is when we sauce it up. So, I'm gonna do a little bit of sriracha. 
I would do more, but Sid doesn't like it too spicy. A little bit of poison sauce. And some good old fashioned soy sauce. Notice that I did not put the egg in yet. You're gonna have to adjust your sauce as you go. You may need more, which I probably will. All of this is gonna cook together. The starch from the noodles and the heat will make the sauce thicker. I'm going to add a little bit more sauce. The same, actually, I'm not gonna add any more sriracha because I don't want it to be too spicy, but I'm gonna do a little bit more of the hoisin and a little bit more soy sauce. You'll kind of, you'll see the color at the end of what you want to look like. <laughs> That's as good as I can do. We're not going to add the egg in until last minute. I'm just going to see if we need more sauce. Mm. A little bit more. I like it saucy. We like sauce in this house. Tastes really good. But it's a good thing I didn't add any more spice. Egg is gonna go in. We're gonna give it a quick toss. Not too much. You can add as little or as much egg as you would like. I did three eggs. Very end, some toasted sesame. And we're going to put it in a bowl. Machine touches are some green onion. You could do cilantro too, either one. And that is how you make untraditional pad thai, Sydney style.